What's up guys? You're going to love these miniature worlds. It's Alora called Miniature Worlds. I'm going to leave everything in the description. Now let's get into it. If you're anything like me, you grew up playing with Legos and with miniatures and were obsessed with them. Or maybe you're much younger and you grew up playing with Minecraft. But regardless, we've all had this obsession with controlling things and having control over little worlds and little people, playing God basically. And uh, now uh, we have the opportunity to create worlds instead of just controlling them. I really love this lore I'm going to show you. I've been creating fantastic worlds. Keep in mind, this has been done with a lower resolution because I was trying to output more pictures rather than better pictures and then fix the ones that I like better rather than produce very few pictures and not be sure about the results I was going to get because I was experimenting. I was experimenting with multiple models, with multiple resolutions, with multiple prompts, etc., etc. So I, it was more important for me to first learn which prompts do what, which models produce what, and resolutions and so on. Because of all the models that I've tried, some of them produce much different results than others. And I don't mean only in terms of quality. I've noticed, for example, that RPG works much better with the prompts that have to do with games whereas Cardos does does the miniature cars and miniature roads and things of that sort much better. I'm going to give you a couple of models that I really like Rev Animated and RPG. I've also used Deliberate V2 and I've tried a couple of them, A Perfect World and another few. They also work better depending on which resolution you're trying to get or which aspect ratio you're trying to go for. For wide aspect ratios, I noticed that Rev Animated does a better job, whereas for vertical aspect ratios, uh, Cardos does better. I'm going to show you a bunch of the ones I've done uh, and I'm going to tell you with which model I've done them. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do once you get the LoRa, download the models if you don't have them already. I'm particularly fond of, of larger pictures rather than longer it does give you some weird results sometimes for example in this picture I got this background they're not necessarily bad sometimes it's actually good I'm going to show you examples where I actually loved it but occasionally you're you want specifically to have this little world on a table with nothing around them so what I do recommend putting is adding on a table and plain wall in the background you can put multiple round brackets around that to insist on that if you're not getting the results you're looking for. Another thing I do recommend is writing mini slash bracket TPP slash another bracket. This will call the LoRa and then you can start writing your prompt. In my case, the prompt was 8K raw photo, best quality, masterpiece. Here I have factory. I've had it for the last few pictures. <laughs> I don't know why. I was trying to make factories earlier and I forgot it in there. But regardless, uh, you can change that to whatever you want. A miniature, uh, occasionally I insist on miniature because sometimes it doesn't necessarily give me miniature landscape has to be in there isometric has to be in there for best results so as you can see here some of those results are wonderful i've tried all aspect ratios this is a long aspect ratio where i used a building in rome as you can see it's beautiful again the details are not intricate because i was trying to produce as many pictures as i can rather than the highest quality that i can but that's you can either fix it post-production this was done with rev2 again i think it was new york then i tried using in a bowl and in the glass box just because I kind of like the results that we get there. Examples of those results. Okay, this is another one. This one was Paris. This is again on a table. I specify on a table because I like seeing the difference between that small world and the big world that's that it's in. So in a bowl would give you results like these. Again, occasionally you'll get a hand, especially when it's a square photo, put a negative prompt, no hands, which would work most of the time. Another Disney in a bowl, it gave us a background that I wasn't expecting, but I don't mind it because it fits well with the image here. An old uh, English house in a bowl again, these were done with Rev Animated 1.1, not 1.2. When you download Rev Animated, it's going to download 1.1 and 1.2 at the same time. I picked 1.1 because I preferred the results, but you can play around with 1.2 with as well. Here, I got to this old Japanese. Again, I did not expect this. I did not ask for it, but I really loved it. It's like a Japanese kind of basket and the, the surroundings are very Japanese. So overall, the picture was actually very good. I wasn't expecting it, but again, you get these happy accidents. Most of the time, I was trying to go for these kinds of images where it's just the little as if it's sitting right there on your table. Really can't show you everything. There's, as you can see, there's so many I wanna show you. I'm excited to show you, but I can't show you everything. Otherwise this video is gonna be two hours long, but I'm going to give you the basic idea and then you can just play around with it and add a few words here and there to get your uh, wanted result. 
Here is another case where it was in a bowl and gave us a background that I did not want, but I was happy to get because it fits so nicely. And this again has to do with the fact that the image was square and not wide. When it's wide, it seemed to respect the, the wall, the fact that there's no wall better as are examples here in this one and multiple other ones such as this one here. This is supposedly uh, Azeroth from World of Warcraft. I mixed it up. I'm going to show you what I did with games as well. Uh, here, as you can see here, this was actually deliberate too. It really respected the fact that I just wanted it on a desk, like on a table with n nothing in the background that's similar to, to the image. So this looks like it's a kitchen table or a room table and has this crazy world in it. The prompt here was lush green fishing village in the middle of the ocean. So the rest is pretty much like this. I can leave all of that for you guys in the description. Just something to add here. I've used DPM++ to MKRS for most of them. Most of the best results I got was with DPM++ to MKRS. I did use the high risk fix on some occasions as well. ESR GAN uh, 4X. I used higher steps too. My sampling steps were almost always at 40 and the denoising was at 0.5. Most of the times I didn't want to use a seed because I wanted it to surprise me. And if I got something that I really loved, then I would save the seed and use it for multiple pictures after that. Again, this was another happy accident. I got the hands <laughs> and like some sort of iPad, but it was half an iPad, half a miniature world. I don't know, uh, but the effects are kind of cool. In terms of examples of in a glass box, I got really cool stuff as well. Got things like these. This is, I believe, also World of Warcraft, but I'm not a player of World of Warcraft, so I'm not 100% sure that's it. Uh, this as well is supposedly World of Warcraft. I believe these here were mostly with Rev animated. It's either glass bowl or glass box, which is what I used. And as you can see, the effects are really cool wonderful i would love to have that little world in my room like i said earlier cardos seemed to be best with metallic structures like and structures in general like buildings roads cars etc the cyberpunk car garage these were the results here that i was getting again you have the cyberpunk world here that i didn't necessarily want but it's fine it doesn't really affect the picture negatively it gives really cute results of these matchbox style cars gotten one here as well of the same sort again these are not very high res i used low res you would get far better results if you did high res in fact i used rpg as a test and i got these kinds of images so rpg really understands if you want to do games and it gives you more of a zoomed in picture rather than a big zoomed out picture from far away it gives you the miniature but it's zoomed in at the same time the negative in rpg is that it seemed to give me grainy pictures. I've asked it to give me a girl in a bowl. Since the, it's very tiny and my resolution is low, it simply doesn't have enough space to create this, those detailed faces or the detailed bodies, etc. Seeing as I got this and I didn't want a disfigured face for this little girl, I decided to send her into InPaint and then InPaint the face and get a better face. You can do that with the body. You can do that with any part of the image. And that's what I, what I was kind of going for. I first wanted to see what I can create and then fix the little things that need fixing. I've done this on another occasion where I, I asked for a girl in a glass bowl. For some reason it gave me things like these where it's a girl in a hot chocolate cup, I guess this is, with some bananas floating. But it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. This wasn't, wasn't that cool, but... Sometimes you get happy accidents. This one is of Link in Hyrule. I only decided to fix Link. He was really messed up. I fixed him up a little bit in InPaint. Now he looks better. And I love how this came out with the rupees here, the, those 3D rupees shining and all over the picture. This was also done in Rev Animated. This is a little town in Italy. And I love how you have this pencil. So this looks like an office desk with little people living on your desk here. In terms of girls and bowls, I also got this one. Also with a disfigured face, but I fixed her face in InPaint. And as you can see now, now it looks kind of cool. It looks kind of realistic at the same time. You can also fix all the other stuff and then you would have a girl in a jar for if you're into that, <laughs> just as long as it's uh, cartoons. As far as gaming, I tried multiple things and I kind of like the results. As you can see, this is RPG again. RPG does give you this RPG feel to it. It's just the grainy stuff that, that bothered me a little bit. But possibly that's due to the fact that I did not have a very high resolution. Here we got Mushroom Kingdom, of course. Uh, Mushroom Kingdom is one of my favorites, especially since watching the Mario movie. The parameters that we used, again, is mini TPP, as always, 8K raw photo, best quality masterpiece. So these things I kept for most of my pictures, I kept almost the same. Realistic, this you can 
change obviously if you want the less realistic i kind of wanted it to be kind of plastic kind of looking like it's half real half in game but you can remove the realistic and you'd probably get much more but the reason i use realistic is because i want the surrounding to look realistic i want it to look like it's actually on somebody's desk so if you don't use realistic then the surrounding area won't be realistic either and you won't have that contrast between like a little world that you built and the realistic table that's around it that's the reason i use realistic for almost all of them then here as you can see mushroom kingdom miniature is a must so again the this beginning part is a must i'm going to leave that in the description here you can change to whatever world you want or you can add characters whatever it is uh, i did characters too they didn't come up great but it's definitely doable miniature is a must sometimes you got to insist on that landscape is a must isometric is a must unless you're doing like the rpg thing where it's zoomed out instead of being isometric then you don't have to have it of course you add your laura here and what i liked to add as well as i said earlier is on a table and plain wall in the background cardos is uh, particularly good for like i said structures metallic structures and all kinds of structures so I, I try to use Cardos on these like amusement parks and zoos and things of that sort. This is also an amusement park. So if you're not looking for too many things, let's say you just want a road with some cars or you're not looking for too much depth in the picture, then it is recommended to go into, into your settings here, into stable diffusion and do clip skip. So what clip skip does is as you know, stable diffusion does the diffusion in multiple layers, multiple depths and details that you might not want necessarily you may you may want to add those details later yourself to have more control and in the case you want to do that you could go into settings stable diffusion and then do the uh, clip skip and set it to two which is only going to give you two of these layers so it won't go too in depth although for me personally i didn't use it much because i actually wanted it to create more little details It's the little details that are the most fun if you get other ideas or use some models that i didn't think of let me know so that was it for today guys i'll see you very soon Bye.